So if you look on Twitter or Instagram or YouTube, any social media, you might have noticed a hashtag that says bring back the national Pokedex. Pokemon fans have been tweeting this, posting it, having that hashtag, and there have been memes about it. But what does it mean? Why are people saying bring back the national Pokedex? Well, pretty much after Game Freak announced Pokemon Sword and Shield, which looked like a really cool game, really good game, you know, a lot of fans got excited. But then later on, Game Freak director Junichi Masuda, he pretty much said that not every single Pokemon is going to be in the Pokedex. What does that mean? It means that the Pokemon you find in Pokemon Sword and Shield are going to be the only Pokemon that are going to show up in the game. So pretty much whatever is in that region is what you're going to find and catch to fill up the Pokedex. So in previous games, like it started off that way, you know, you have your regular Pokedex, fill it out with like the Pokemon in the region. But then later on, after you beat the Elite Four and everything, you unlock the National Pokedex and the national Pokedex pretty much means all the Pokemon ever created can be uh, registered in the national Pokedex so pretty much you have a game you trade with other games like older games you keep trading back and forth until you finally have all 800 or whatever Pokemon in your game. So pretty much all the Pokemon will be accessible in your game and you can battle with them at the end of the game. But in Pokemon Sword and Shield, after you beat the game, there is going to be no national Pokedex. So you're not going to be able to catch every single Pokemon. So the whole gotta catch them all, it's not really a concept anymore. So whatever Pokemon that you find in the new region is the only Pokemon you're gonna get to keep and use. And that has pissed off a lot of fans, man, because let's say I want to bring one of my favorite Pokemons, like let's say my favorite Pokemon is Chikorita, but I want to bring Chikorita over into the new game, Sword and Shield, and I want to trade it over. If Chikorita isn't in the new game's Pokedex, I cannot use Chikorita in the new game. I can't trade it over, I can't do anything with it, I can't access it, nothing. So a lot of people are pissed. You know, they want to use their favorite Pokemon, their old favorite Pokemon. The hashtag has been going around and there have also been a lot of memes, a lot of funny memes. Um, some of the memes take it like way out there where like Pokemon from the old games are like trying to get over to the uh, Galar region, the new region. Uh, they're trying to go over the border, sneak past the border, disguise themselves. So anyway, there has been a lot of backlash with Pokemon Sword and Shield because the National Pokedex won't be accessible. And finally, Game Freak director Junichi Masuda, he finally responded to the, the backlash. And this is what he had to say. <clears throat> a message for Pokemon video game fans. Thank you to all of our fans for caring so deeply about Pokemon. Recently, I shared the news that some Pokemon cannot be transferred to Pokemon Sword and Shield. I've read all your comments and appreciate your love and passion for Pokemon. Just like all of you, we are passionate about Pokemon and each and every one of them is very important to us. After so many years of developing the Pokemon video games, this was a very difficult decision for me. I'd like to make one thing clear. Even if a specific Pokemon is not available in Pokemon Sword and Shield, that does not mean it will not appear in future games. The world of Pokemon continues to evolve. The Galar region offers new Pokemon to encounter trainers to battle and adventures to embark on. We are pouring our hearts into these games and we hope you would look forward to joining us on this new journey. Junichi Matsuda. So pretty much from what I get from that message is they're not going to bring back the old Pokemon. Whatever Pokemon are going to be missing in the new game, um, they're not going to bring them in. Like I said, if I want Chikorita, if I want to use Chikorita after I beat the game, I won't be able to trade it in. So yeah, a lot of people are upset about it, but you gotta understand both point of views. Like me, I'm kind of like in the middle, I understand, but I'm also kind of like, you know, like I'm in the middle, like between this. So I understand that, hey, they have to create new animations, new moves, they have to balance all the Pokemon. There's over 800 Pokemon, it has to be balanced. Um, they can't make one Pokemon too powerful and one like too weak. And they gotta, you know, make like new animations for them. Like they, they gotta do like this for like every single Pokemon, you know, like the eggs, um, when they come out of the Pokeball, everything, you know, which is a lot of work for 800 Pokemon. So I could see why it would be very difficult for one game to handle all 800 plus Pokemon. But on the other hand, this is not a Nintendo DS game. This is a Nintendo Switch game. So this Nintendo Switch game should be able to handle all 800 Pokemon, 800 plus Pokemon. And also the graphics should be better since it's on the switch so I could see like it would be difficult to incorporate but it shouldn't be too difficult because it's on the Nintendo switch so I see both sides you know like I think they should incorporate it like maybe allow the Pokemon the old Pokemon to be transferred into the game but the only thing they shouldn't allow is like maybe battling with the old Pokemon you know you can catch
catch him, train with him, but you can't really battle with him. Like, I think that'd be an okay idea. I don't know, what do you guys think? So anyway, that's what Game Freak said, and so far what it looks like, they're not gonna change their mind, so I guess we're just gonna deal with it, but I'm, I'm okay with it, man. Like, it is a new Pokemon game, and you should be, like, playing with, you know, whatever Pokemon is available in that region. Like, I, I think it's fine. Like, I'm okay with it. I don't really have any complaints about it, but I know a lot of people don't like it, but that's all right. If you're mad about it, that's cool. If you're cool with it, that's cool too. But let me know what your guys' thoughts are. You know, drop a comment so we could conversate in the comment section. But anyway, thanks for watching. You know, I hope you enjoyed the video. And yeah, I'll see you guys in the next one, right? Peace out.